No, that you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can look at this one. That that line. Yeah. What? <laughs> Hi guys. So today's video, I am going to be transforming into a drag queen or androgynous. Not so dry queen. It's a little bit more like me. Minimal yet effective. <laughs> this is my son, Tyler the Dean. You can check him out on his Instagram at Tyler the Dean. Yeah. Hey guys. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair off. If you can hear something in the background, it's just the AC. It's a little warm in here. Okay, so she already prepped and primed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do foundation. Uh, we dumped our beauty blender and we are going to go in with what foundation? The Estee Lauder Double Wear. Full coverage. Yes. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, oh, and fun fact, this is the first time I've ever doing someone's makeup. I've never done a uh, real girl makeup, dry queen not makeup. Not even a fake girl? No, not even a fake girl. So this is going to be a first time, so hopefully I did good. Um, if not, there's Facetune and you can just smooth it out. Okay, so we're putting on lots of, it's gonna be full coverage today because she is not gonna become a real woman. She is gonna need all the coverage in the world. So, and then, I do that, I spread it out first and then I blend it in. You get better coverage, keep up. I'm so happy I don't have to color block. It was really. Okay. <laughs> right in my mouth! How we like it. And we're getting it all on your lips. Because those are going to be covered. Ears? Yeah, on your ears because you need to match it. You never put foundation on your ears? No. Hello, you're supposed to. What's about all over your entire existence? Well, if, you're if your foundation matches to your skin, you don't need to. Mm, well, mine's never done so I don't, <laughs> I don't can't relate. <laughs> okay, next we're going to be using Born This Way um, concealer. Allegedly, it's better than Shape Tip. It is. Um, and we will find out. Right. I usually do three drop dots. Well, not today. So. Looking gorgeous. Now let's try not to do this the same side. Can you look up? Thank you. You're going in my eyeball. Well, you have I seen. <laughs> Mom, it's crazy! Especially on this side, but that's why we have lighting. <laughs> Which I probably need to move that way. Okay, better. Now, contour. What do you use for contour? Um, I use my powder from Anastasia. 
We're not going to be using powder today. We're going heavy duty cream Krylon TV paint stick. The one I use, so I'll just use a little bit in NG2. This is heavy duty drag queen stuff. All drag queens know about this, love it, and swear. Oh, that's so dark. Get into it. <laughs> This. Okay. So now we're gonna just buff and blend and hope this turns out okay. Oof, a little harsh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh, I should put that. Okay, I'm looking a little like powder Wow. Yeah, see, but that's nice now. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was this strong. <laughs> Your head's so small. I think I'm so used to it because I have to put so much because of this tan head. Wow. Well, I, mean, I didn't blend it yet. But actually, I did, but. <laughs> yeah, I have a small forehead. Lucky you. Thanks for the big one. I have a big forehead. Mom, look at this. Mm, it's just a little tall. Okay, look up. Yes. And this oh my god, I shouldn't have put so much. <sighs> This is the final look guys. <laughs> Do you like it? Leave your comments down below. <laughs> but you're gonna have like when it's done, you're gonna look at your chin and you're gonna be like, oh my god, looks like I got surgery. Or I'll share it on. <laughs> One or the other. Yeah, so I don't do I don't contour the nose with uh, cream. That's personally what I do. I like to do it with powder. I think it's you have a little bit more control, which I love. Love to have control, especially by the throat. Um, and then, um, yeah. So let's just get powdering. Put that on. Gonna do this so it can like really mix the um, cheeks pop out. See, like now look that way, look at the camera. You see it? Yeah. He's even more. So um, all the powders that we're going to be using is Ben Nye. Um, they come in the big tubes. Um, they're awesome. They're cheap they're and cheap. they're good for dry cleaning. And they're allegedly oil control, which I love. Yeah. Oh. I use it sometimes too. No, she doesn't. <laughs> yes, I do. I gave you that one bottle. Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Look up. No, turn it. Stop. <laughs> Mom, it's focus. Look up. Why are you doing that? We're just gonna We're just gonna set the creases. Yeah. We're just gonna go with that. And then now I just like to get the so that's the only part of the face that I do with the Dry? No, it's a little damp. See, that now this lighter power will turn, tone down all of this darkness we have going on. She's serving some sleepy, hollow, floating head realness. And we're here for it. Separate brush. Okay, cool. So now she's looking like Casper. 
Okay, cool. So now you see all the tone, the powders, they definitely toned down all of that contour, um, which we're here for because she was looking a little muddy. Okay, so now we're gonna contour. Uh, we are using a MAC blush in blunt. This is the first. That's just for my nose, right? No, this is for your face. But I thought we just did contour. No, we're doing more. <laughs> we're gonna chisel those cheeks and cut those haters in half. <laughs> so. Oh, and I'm using also using a Wet n Wild one dollar brush. I love, 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 love cheap stuff, um, and it blends great. He gets it from me. At least I think it blends great. I don't really know any better. I just work with what I have. So, yep. let's see. Wait, can you turn that one? There we go. Oh, your baby hairs. I know, it's from the giddy giddy. It needs to go. Yes. Now we're going back right here. Now you do the first thing. A little bit more that way. Okay, now my favorite part, the nose. Make my nose snatch. Snatch for the gods. Mm. Can you look straight? Okay, so now we're gonna be done with uh, her contour and her nose contour, most importantly. And now we're gonna be doing some baking, but first we need to spritz. Yes, feel it. Okay, cool. Oh, oops. She wants more. Same. Yeah, we're gonna let it dry, cool it down. And you put this on just so it don't look uh, crusty. Yes, crusty, crusty because we put on a I'm lot crusty. of... Dusty. Dusty. No, no. Ashy? No. All of them? No. Um. Cakey. Cakey. Yes, cake. Yes. We do. I don't really like cake, but um, I like to have it and it too, though. Okay, I think it's dry. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing brows. Um, we're gonna be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Um, I do not ever use stuff like this. I need to create brows. My brows are lower, so I have to go on my forehead. But she is a real girl and she already has good space. So let's get started and pray for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. I'll turn you a little bit more like this. Oh my God, this is not good. Okay, so now we are going to, since we're done with those brows, um, 
I just have to remember they're not sisters, they are cousins, but in this case, they're from other galaxies. But it's okay. Um, we're gonna clean it up. Um, I'm gonna be using my Krylon TV paint stick. Um, it's great, and it's going to hide all of the mistakes I just did. And see how that really raised her brows. Now it's, you know, gives her that little extra dimension. I really need it, but I didn't have room today to do that. But, oh well. Okay, so now, um, since we're done with the brows and everything else, we're gonna be moving on to eyeshadow. We're gonna be using Mi Vida Loca by Kat Von D. This is my favorite color palette. I really want the Morphe one, but they discontinued it, so I'm stuck with this one. And what Morphe one? Which one? The colorful palette that they oh. discontinued, but I do not know why. So, let's get started. Look at this great olive oil. Okay, so what color should we go for? She's going to be using that. No, so we're going to be going for a burgundy eye. I think she'll uh, appreciate burgundy because she's not into bright colors. Um, and that is probably the most used color on this palette. And I love it. So let's get started. A little bit that way. There you go. And by the way, nobody judge me on my nails because I know you guys are gonna clock me. It's tragic, it looks like a five-year-old painted it, but I'm a five-year-old, so get into it. Sorry. I like Ken on these um, shadows, they blend really good, like easily. Oh my god, that is under eye. That transferred, oh, I'm gonna put under your eye anyways. But it's like, it's completely younger under eye too. I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I think I'm doing a great job. What do you think? Mm -hmm. um, so what do we do? I'll just wing it down. And then I'll work on the bottom and then blend it back up so we know this. And then these. So now, what, what wing liner do you use? Do you have a... No, I don't, do you, I don't do wings. Well, do you have like a gel liner? Yeah, I have a an underrated by Flower. It's really, really good. Flower, isn't that um, Drew Barrymore's? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I think is so. That? Maybe it is. No, I don't think so. Yes. Where do you get this from? Drugstore? From Ulta. Mm -hmm. So I think it is. I don't know. I know she has something that it has to do like organic. I think stuff. it is flower. But, um... That was really good. Okay. I, just, I just don't do wings because I don't know how. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow is all on, we're going to be using a black liner. Um, she said it's underrated, so I will be the judge of that. Um, but see how we transferred underneath her eyes? I messed up, but it's okay because we're going to put the same color on the bottom and just buff it out and just pray, so let's get started. She looks good. I love it. Okay, next time. I'm actually surprised at how good and how easy that was. Isn't that actually, a good liner? it doesn't look that good, but it was still easy to do. Isn't that, isn't that a good liner? Oh, it is a good liner. Flower. It's only um, like. How much is it? 
$8.99. $8.99. Still too expensive. <laughs> Still too expensive. Um, I did. Wait, this is thing. There's complete black liner on this entire bottom lash line. So, we're just gonna put shadow over it and just make it real, real dark. Okay, so now that the um, liners are done, and I did screw up right over here, obviously, um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go with shadow and we're just gonna go over that concealer with that light powder and it will look flawless. Okay, so when uh, your client or whoever you're turning into looks like they just got beat up in a back alley, then you are done with the eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to be aligning her lips and we're gonna be overdrawing for the gods, for the back row. We want outer space to see her lips. But she has a small space, lucky. I have a big space, so I have to really make the upper lip big to take up room to make it look more feminine. She has a real small space, so lucky her. So we just lined her lips, they're gonna be gorge. Um, and now we're gonna be using these NYX, I have no idea, they were from last year. Um, yeah, they're like a liquid cream, matte? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's matte, but it's a liquid cream, so we're gonna do that. Still save it. Oh my god, you're so frowning. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it looks like she's sad that she ate someone's butthole. Oh, poor thing. Stop, I gotta finish. everything up with concealer um, that's gonna be obviously but um, yeah you know we're, just, we're doing a whole brown look we, I don't have I was gonna do a whole a little ombre effect but we have an emergency that we need to attend to so we don't have time to be doing the ombre okay what are you 
Can you please so much? You like it on my teeth. A little bit. There you go. Oh, that's so good. Straight. There you go. <laughs> okay, so now we're done with the lips. Well, not done. I need to clean up with concealer, so we will do that right now. Okay, so now that we are um, back, um, we did lashes and mascara off camera, and um, yeah, I tried to do some damage control, but there was no going back. So now, instead of going for a glamorous androgynous look, we're definitely going for the spooky Halloween look. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is definitely fitting for this, you know, Halloween's in the what, two days, so it's perfect and I meant to do this. And now we're gonna highlight using my favorite glow kit, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and um, I've had this for like four, five years now. I think one of my friends, Ariana, bought it for me. Thank you for, I think it's my birthday? I don't know what she bought it for, but it's something. Um, Actually, you know what, let's give it, let's give it a spray first, so, so we can have something to stick to. Yes. Lock that in place all day, because I know she wants to keep this on all year long. It's her new favorite, her go-to look. Everyone in Maui's gonna be shook. <laughs> shook to the core. <laughs> yeah, you should go back on a plane like this. This is cute. Everyone's gonna be living. Trending. Yeah, Most importantly, the nose highlight. Can you breathe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to contour more. <laughs> we actually uh, forgot blush, um, so we're going in with this, oops. We're going in with this Tarte uh, party. party. It's it my was, favorite one. Really? Oh, perfect. I like that. It was a sample from Sephora, um, which I, which is free. Jesse got it, I just wanted to give it to you. Is this, this one's kind of hard, yeah, this brush. Yeah. It kind of pokes you. Also removes your makeup. I love it when it does that. Okay, and now for the final steps is beauty marks, which I love to do. Um, I have them all over my face. But you have to just put them, put them in the same spot that I have. Last step is we're gonna be adding some unnecessary glitter because if you're a drag queen, you know glitters everything. It just adds that extra oomph when you've done minimal efforts. And we love that. Okay, so I think I am pretty much done with the whole entire face. We are going to turn um, off the camera and we're going to turn into our matching outfits and um, slay the game and kill all these holes with our looks. Get ready for it. We'll be back. And we're back. So um, we're in our little matching plaid, you know, um, clueless moment. Um, this is the only option because it's the only thing that I could find that was matching and I thought it would be cute. We both have our matching, you know, emblems in the middle, little moment, minimal, yet effective, just like me. So, how do you feel? <laughs> Be honest? The makeup is very heavy. I can mm -hmm. feel it very heavy on my face. I'm not used to it because I I always go for the natural look. Mm. 
Yes, she does. Um, but hey, I think, you know, it was my first time ever doing someone's makeup. I literally never blended anyone's eyeshadow before and I think we did, I think I did okay. Um, it was all for fun and I love my mom so much. She's my biggest supporter. She's been there for me day one. She always buys me makeup and I love her so much. And you guys should subscribe to her because she is the best mom ever. And look it, she let me turn her into this. Come on, how could you not love her, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't cry. Oh, you can cry. The makeup soup is gonna come out. No, we're gonna still take pictures. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. But yeah, I love her so much. And um, yeah, she's just been very supportive of me and um, always buys me makeup, which is the most important thing. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so um, anything else you want to say on your channel? Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye. Bye, guys.